Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, as you can see there, the little water fountain I had set up, the solar fountain, is not working. In fact, it's not there. It lasted about a week and then it stopped working. The motor is just, I think, it's, it's a toy motor for all practical purposes and it's not going to withstand the elements. The, um, I mean, if I get in there and sort of like, um, if I knock the motor assembly around, I can get it to start spinning again. But I just think that, you know, it's, it, it got debris in it or something and uh, from what I've looked, when I looked at it, it doesn't look like you can take it apart. And again, it's just a small uh, motor. So uh, what I think you need to do is buy individual components. You need to really step up to like a, um, a pond motor. Um, and the, they have the motors that they have an adjustable flow and also uh, they, they have them so you can take a cover off and get in uh, to clean. There's a, a removable sponge that they have uh, on the intake um, to the impeller. So that prevents or helps prevent debris and plus it's going to be one that is AC powered and it's going to be a lot more powerful and, and it's not going to be easily stopped by debris. Uh, and the sponge is really, you know, to prevent large pieces of debris getting into the impeller and just me mechanically blocking that impeller from spinning. But I think with the smaller motors, just any type of grit can get in there and uh, stop that motor. And it's just not powerful enough um, to overcome that. Uh, they do have some that really have larger solar panels and they get pretty expensive and maybe those uh, those motors there would uh, be more resistant uh, to the debris that will end up in the water. But yeah, um, I did end up buying something, it's a bubbler. So um, with the fountain and the spray, if it's windy, you get a lot of spray that falls outside of the area that I have. So this is a pretty good size um, dish or, or pan that I have for a flower pot. And even that, um, and through evaporation also, you would have to fill it up on a daily basis. So uh, this bubbler that I purchased has a built-in motor and it's AC operated. Um, so I do have to plug it in and um, it's not going to create, it's going to bubble over, uh, I don't, I haven't looked at it yet, I don't know if it's plastic or, or ceramic, but um, it has a little rock formation, simulated rock, and water bubbles out, uh, and supposedly it can operate uh, in as shallow as uh, two inches of water, so I'm going to attempt to put that in the pan, uh, I have to get to the pan, it's surrounded by all this, um, melon vines so I have to get in there and I'll, I'll bring it out here and I want to see if that attracts the hummingbirds which are still around I've got here oh looks like there is a filter on this one that's that's good I didn't think there was a filter that's it's darker than I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be more of a dark, uh, light gray, but um, it looks like it's got a pretty hefty cord on it, but again, it's a small motor. This actually looks like the motor that was on the other one. Um, I wonder where you're supposed to be putting this filter. Hmm. That's, again, that's kind of small. I don't know if it's, you can disassemble this. Okay, so that does come off there. Is this the flow adjustment? All right, so this is the moat, and it's, other than this flow adjustment, um, it is going to be more powerful because it's, you know, it plugs in as opposed to the solar, but that's uh, it's a small motor. So you can adjust the flow here, and you can see the impeller. 
but um, yeah this is the exact motor design of the solar powered one that's interesting hmm. yeah I'm able to see the impeller on on the solar powered one too huh You know, I was just thinking, I, I hope it does have uh, a legitimate uh, UL label on this, because the last thing I want to do is also electrocute birds. Or myself. But, uh, yeah, this, this is an addition that the other one doesn't have, is the flow adjustment. Alright, well... I mean, in some ways I was expecting it because it wasn't very expensive. What did I pay? I think $28 for this maybe? $25, $28. So, there's some type of resin. This is a filter, sort of initially gave me a good feeling, but then what is this supposed to do? Where is it supposed to go? Um, I have some Whisper filters for aquarium that um, I might be able to use that material on. Minimum one and a half inches works, so it's one and a half inches of water that this is able to operate in and right off the bat it doesn't really make clear it's just a picture where that filter where you would put that to uh, prevent debris from getting in waterfall rock comes with pump install in it all right well I'll get back to you in a second, see if I can find anything about this filter. Okay, so this here is showing uh, the possible disassembly of the motor if it's not operating. Check the intake screen to ensure it is not clogged with debris. Remove the pump inlet to access the impeller area. Turn the impeller to ensure it's not broken or jammed. So I might re-look, take, take another look at the other solar-powered one to see if this motor comes apart, but um, I'm going to see if I can disassemble this one right now. I guess, I don't know, this, I would assume this slides out. Somehow they should show arrows, but this gives the impression that you're able to disassemble this. It's, it's similar to the Whisper motors where you don't have a direct drive. You have a magnet. Okay, I didn't think about that. You have a magnet uh, just like you have on the um, aquarium filters in this. This is a sealed unit and then uh, the, the spinning you have this magnet attached to the electric field of the other magnet and it spins this impeller. That's why I was thinking of seeing if I could put an old Whisper filter to use. But it's the same principle, so there's not a direct electrical. doesn't hopefully have the ability to get water inside this unit here. But it does show uh, daily maintenance, that, or normal, regular maintenance you can do on this to keep this from... I guess you can get mineral deposits that accumulate. So, I'll give this a try. Alright, so, it does look like, because I see some motion there, that this comes off. Alright. I'll have to take another look at that solar filter. Oh, and this comes off. So you can get in there and clean that out. And I believe, since this isn't a mechanical physical 
this comes out. See that? So there's a shaft that just spins on that um, so this just goes goes in like that and is connected magnetically. So now I know where that filter portion goes. Okay, so I take it all back after being able to slide the cover off of the bubbler I just purchased. I inspected the pump, uh, the motor of the solar one, and was able to take it apart. I was able to get this back cover off, but this didn't seem like it was going to come off. I don't see anything going on with the impeller. So again, um, let's give it another try, but... Initially, this actually does not, this is more of an assembled unit. Uh, it doesn't have the impeller that comes out. So I wonder if the elements of water was, was able to get inside the motor housing. We'll give it a try again, see if this works. But there's nothing really obviously uh, wrong as far as debris goes. So when I hook this up, I found some more of these different um, sprinkler head options see if this still if this works but let's put the bubbler I've got the pan all cleaned out and I've, I'm gonna put it here near one of the um, feeders let's see if they draw if it, the fountain draws the interest of the hummingbirds so let's fill it up with water all right let's plug this in whoa do you think I need to adjust the flow a little bit? Oh, since this is um, AC, make sure you have it uh, plugged into an appropriate outlet. And unplug it before you go doing anything to this thing. So, there is an adjustment right here. I'm just going to go all the other way. Let's try it again. So that's uh, the complete opposite direction for that flow adjust. It does have a little noise associated with the impeller. All right, so I put some rocks in there instead of the gravel, and the solar pump's working again. I don't know. Seems to be a little, little temperamental as far as the angle of the solar panel goes, but that's working and I got the bubbler going. So just wait and see. This attracts the hummingbirds if they find this attractive and I'll um keep an eye on it and if I see them over here I'll set up set up the camera and see if I can catch them on camera. 